I mean, who do you point out here in terms of being the key driver and, and what kind of injections are we looking at from, from the government? Good morning, Yusuf. So we heard yesterday that Dubai will grant financial aid uh, in the form of fresh capital uh, in, um, to Emirates Airlines. And uh, the, the, um, um, the tweet also mentioned that the state is fully committed to providing the full support that the airline needs. But they, they did not specify uh, the, um, the size of the capital injection or when it will uh, take place. I suppose the essence of it is, is a message, a message of support, Leanne. In the first instance, they've uh, furloughed some work, all of their workers and delivered pay cuts. What do we know about the aircraft obligations? This has been a huge issue with EasyJet, and it's an even bigger issue with Emirates. What's the latest there? Yes, of course, because as we know that Emirates only operates the largest uh, wide-body aircraft, which, uh, which constitutes of approximately 250 uh, planes of Airbus A380s and Boeing 777s. So, and uh, um, um, about 50% of Emirates airline aircraft is, uh, is uh, leased. Um, their debt service uh, last year, which includes the operating uh, lease expenses and the uh, repayment of lease liabilities, reached approximately uh, 21 billion uh, dirhams, which is approximately um, 540 million dollars. But this covers uh, 12 months and up until March 31st. This amount excludes the, the, uh, the other expenses, which include also uh, salaries. But of course. Um, uh, the, the company will not. The company won't be paying uh, jet fuel or um, uh, landing rights uh, in this period when their aircraft is grounded. Leon, most of the uh, airlines in the Middle East are state-owned, and you begin to wonder whether we're going to see more of these bailouts across the Gulf. Uh, yes, Yusuf. So as we know that globally, um, uh, airlines are asking uh, government for for help. But uh, in, we're, we're, we are expecting more uh, bailout uh, packages for Middle Eastern airlines, uh, especially the three biggest. And uh, as you have mentioned, that because they're state-owned, it gives them a potential advantage to swiftly secure bailout packages. Qatar Airways indicated last week that just like all other airlines around the globe, it will ask the government uh, for help. But Emirates uh, uh, was one of the first, uh, or is the first uh, airline that uh, received uh, that to, to receive uh, bailout package, but as you as we all, all know that uh, uh, Emirates is a, is an integral part for uh, Dubai's economy that which heavily relies on tourism and on trade and on cargo.